Uh, this is a fascinating story, is uh, reported first out by the New York Times, Donald uh, McNeil. And if you watch uh, uh, um, uh, Rachel Maddow, she covered it on her, on her show as well. There's a company called Kinza Health, uh, which makes smart thermometers, and they have more than a million. Oh, those that are the they ones sold. you hold out? Well, it's, I don't know exactly. They don't touch you, I think. No, it's not that. It's, it's oh. an actual thermometer that you put in your mouth. Oh. Uh, but they're smart th thermometers, so they sync with the mobile app, uh, and they have made more than a million of them, um, and they record, you know, they record fevers as soon as customers use them, right? Um, so they have, for the last several years, been building these in interactive maps that can accurately predict the spread of flu, and they do it two weeks before the CDC's own flu tracker does, because the CDC relies on reports from hospitals and from doctors and stuff. Uh, and so there's a lag time between those reports that come into CDC uh, and the data that the smart thermometers are picking up immediately. So their data can presumably predict outbreaks of, uh, of coronavirus. Uh, they are taking the data set that they already have um, and, uh, and, and removing the, the data, the historical data, and uh, reporting just the, the data that's coming in now. And they can see whether, whether, the, whether a uh, particular location is over-indexing for flu-related symptoms, right? So it's something that the CDC should be paying attention to, to identify places where an outbreak is occurring of coronavirus. Uh, the company is now selling uh, 10,000 uh, uh, thermometers a day, uh, which is creating production problems for them, for them, but also multiplying the amount of data that's coming in each day from those people that are using it now. Um, so fascinating uh, technology that can be very helpful.